Now, it's six billion times the mass of our sun. In fact, it's as big as our entire solar system. A few weeks ago, we got our first glimpse. Have you guessed it? Yep, it's the black hole, all the way out in galaxy M87. And it took 200 scientists nearly two years to capture its historic first image. And one of those uh, scientists was Jessica Dempsey. She's the Deputy Director of the East Asia Observatory in Hawaii, and she joins us now from there. Uh, hello to you. Thank you very much for joining us uh, on the programme. Uh, first of all, uh, let me ask you, I read that when you saw the image for the first time, you described it as being like the Eye of Sauron from Lord um, of the Rings. Having worked on it for so long, was that the image you were expecting? Uh, to be honest with you, when I first saw the image, I thought it was one of our models because it couldn't have possibly been that perfect. And so someone said, no, that's, that's actually the real image. And I was, I was dumbstruck. Uh, and yes, I have to admit, I'm a bit of a fantasy fan, so the first thing I thought of was, was Lord of the Rings. <laughs> well, it is, though, an extremely complex uh, project that you've been working on. Hundreds of scientists, as I say, supercomputers, hundreds of terabytes of data. Um, why has it been so difficult to try and capture this image? Well, to be honest, running one telescope is hard. Uh, but here, really, the trick is the coordination, because you have eight facilities that literally span the globe. In fact, you need them to be the earth width apart or we couldn't make this image. And so you need to coordinate eight sites, have all of the telescopes working, the weather has to work and be perfect all around the world, including in Antarctica. So it's not easy to do that. And the technology uh, as well had to catch up with us. And so this is very tricky uh, wavelengths of light you can only collect this light on the ground in a very few places on the planet. So all of these things had to align. You need to know these telescopes position on the Earth to a fraction of a hair. You need a billionth of a second timing. These are just a few of the things that needed to go right for us to capture this image. It sounds like then perhaps you weren't necessarily 100% confident that it was going to work that time. Were, how was the atmosphere um, among your team in those final couple of uh, days before you gave it a go? So we've been trying this now in various iterations for over a decade. Uh, but it was two years ago uh, that we took the uh, image, the, the data that we actually put towards the image that you see now. And it was actually taken in just five days. Uh, but it was six months after we took that data before we even knew if the experiment had worked. And it was a year beyond that before we saw the image. So we actually didn't know whether that we're sort of shooting blind. It's kind of like driving a car at light speed, but you don't, you know, you, you can't see out the windshield. So we were very, very amazed and pleased that the work had paid off after a year and a half. Yeah, now, as I've said, we know this was a group effort by scientists like you um, all over the world. But there was one image of one of your colleagues, um, that's Katie Bowman uh, in the United States, who seemed to really capture uh, the feeling among the team. She put her hands over her face, grinning in delight when it happened. I wonder how you felt about that image and the way that it was, it was covered. Do you think it's good news that she was so focused on perhaps trying to encourage, I don't know, more women to get involved in this kind of sector? Every single woman who's working in science now deserves a moment like that. And so Katie is wonderful. She deserved every single moment that she got there. She's a very shy person, so I think it might have been a bit of a shock for her. But I think it's good because now there's going to be another generation of young women who can see what Katie's doing. And hopefully that means that we're not just one of the few going into this the next time around. So, no, I was thrilled for her. And so, you know, she was one of a, an amazing team, but, you know, she put in an incredible uh, amount of work uh, to this project over a long time, so she deserves it. Yeah, but do you think, though, there were perhaps some aspects of the coverage that were um, a bit sexist? There was a focus a lot on her age and her gender. Did you find some of the way that she was covered problematic or was it mostly for you just a celebration? I mean, unfortunately, I wish that was unfamiliar um, to any minority that minority that's working um, in, in some of these fields. I think it's also that um, scientists aren't really used to this level of uh, attention uh, by the media. And so, you know, when it sort of went in some unexpected ways, that's not something that I think a lot of us are used to. Um, and so, no, I think, you know, these things can go in all sorts of directions. And Katie handled it, you know, like a true professional and a champ. So 
it was about as, you know, I think it was brilliant. And as I said, we should be focusing more on the successes of these women scientists. So I'm, I'm choosing to focus on the positive aspects of it. Yeah. Before we uh, let you go today, let me just ask you, there used to be this, I suppose it is now a, a myth that's been debunked, that the that if you fell, fell into a black hole as a person, you'd be ripped apart. That's apparently not true. But what, what would happen to you if you tumble in? Well, I don't think you'd want to do it anyway. Um, <laughs> in fact, the term is called spaghettification. And that is because the, your, your, the difference in gravity pulling on your feet and your, your head is so different that you'd be strung out like string cheese. So again, not exactly something that you'd want to do. Uh, we don't have uh, an experiment yet to do that, and I'm not going to put my hand up myself. <laughs> no, me neither. But thank you uh, very much indeed, Jessica uh, Dempsey there, and congratulations uh, on all your work uh, with The Black Hole. Jessica Dempsey there, talking to us there 